This video is by Straight Goods News. SG News. For their lack of decorum. Um, and that uh, there's been attacks on the Speaker's office and the impartiality of the Speakers. And he, he went out of his way. I'm not sure that you were in the House for his ruling. But it's worth taking a look at. And, and juxtapose that to how Conservatives treat this place uh, during this most recent custom period, but in, in, in general, in the incident of last week, of course. I heard a call of time the, to your first leader's question just as he was starting the first sentence. I, it just seemed something had them fired up today. Oh, I, I think there is an urgency for them to get out of this place that they've had a bad couple of weeks, which have been quite revealing as to what this government's actually about. So, um, them it, it, look, look at them firing out and heckling and yelling and stomping their feet does actually not look mature to Canadians. That's not what Canadians expect of their parliamentarians. The, the whole frat boy routine that the Conservatives regularly roll out most days, and particularly Wednesdays for some reason, uh, doesn't impress anybody but themselves and doesn't show anything other than a government that uh, sort of runs from scandal to scandal. Yeah. I, I wrap my, my questions by just asking, do you think, I, we see examples in uh, Westminster and Canberra where the speaker's calling out people as they heckle. I mean, I, Speaker Shearer, I, yeah, you I'm know, gonna, asked it's rules at the end. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look to introduce something in the new year that will, will empower the speaker with the support again of, of the House, which is, I think this is supported by Canadians, to uh, be able to command the House even more. And for all the heckling and the jostling and the sneering that goes on, which is not representative of Canadian values as far as I'm Canadians don't talk to each other this way in any other circumstance other than here in the House of Commons. Maybe in the in the in the cheap seats of a hockey game, but that's about it. And the House of Commons should be better than the drunken seats of a, at, a, at a sporting event. So we'll be uh, offering some things to the Speaker and to the House to, to allow him more discretion and more power to control some of the members. Because it's it's like any uh, any class in a school. There's only five or ten percent that cause all of the trouble, and I can name them for you. We, we know who they all are and the Conservatives know who they are too and they just this is their only lot in life I guess now is that they're not, they're not going to get into cabinet they're not getting any special appointments and they're not very good at their jobs so what do they do? They sit there and bark all day and it, it, it says a lot more about them than it does us. So 